Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A13 versus the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11. And the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 is powered by Snapdragon 680 processor with a 6 GP of RAM, while the Samsung A13 is powered by Samsung Exynos 850 processor with a 6 GP of RAM as well. Both phones has a quad cameras on the back. And both phones has a main 50 megapixel main camera. Also, we have 8 megapixel ultra wide with a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. While on the Samsung, we have a 5 megapixel ultra wide with a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. And the back on both phones is made up of plastic. And the frame also is made up of plastic. And both phones also has a fingerprint scanner on the side. And the frame of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 more flat as compared to the Samsung which gives you more premium feel over the Samsung A13. Also on the bottom, we also have a headphone jack on the Samsung, which is also available on the Redmi on the top. But on the Redmi Note 11, we have a dual speakers, while on the Samsung, we only have a single speaker. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how is a Samsung A13 is stacked up against the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 in apps opening speed, as well as in the boot up test. So without any wasting time, let's get right into it. And guys, now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Let's see which one will be more faster. Here we go. Logos came up first on the Samsung. Also on the Samsung, we have Android 12 with Samsung One UI version 4.1 versus Android 11 with MIUI version 13. No Android 12 on the Redmi Note 11. Let's see who is going to be the fastest one. and the Samsung or the Redmi and the Redmi Note 11 is more faster when it comes to booting up as you can see while the Samsung A13 is taking a lot of time and the Exynos A50 is also seen on the Samsung A21s now the Samsung it is also done and you can see about five or six second difference there between these two devices when it comes to booting up and guys, now let's talk about the displays between these two devices. On the Samsung, we have 6.6 inch DLS LCD display with 60 Hz refresh rate. While on the Redmi Note 11, we have 6.4 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 90 Hz refresh rate. Also, we have punch hole on the Redmi Note 11 versus a water top notch on the Samsung A13. So now let's see apps opening speed. Everything's closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. Now let's start off with the phone dialer that is a little more faster on the Samsung. So next on the list is the settings, faster on the Redmi Note 11. So now let's go to the display. And you can see we have 60 Hertz refresh rate versus a 90 Hertz on the Redmi Note 11. And the Redmi Note 11 has the best display in this price range, no doubt about that. Amazon shopping, same Wi-Fi network on both phones and the Samsung A13 is a tiny bit more faster as you can see I'm not expecting that let's see the scrolling and that is a tiny bit more smoother on the Redmi Note 11 if I see very closely but not a huge difference now let's open this faster on the Redmi this time so now check out some games application now let's see that how is the Exynos A50 is stack up against the Snapdragon 680 opening up the Candy Crush Sega and Candy Crush faster on the redmi note 11 and you can see which faster there also we have dual speakers on the redmi so here's the redmi looks like with max volume and here is the samsung a13 looks like we have a single speaker and speakers on the redmi note 11 one of the best in this price range but we have single speaker on the samsung instagram faster on the redmi Let's see pin out, pin out also faster on the Redmi Note 11 and you can see huge difference there. Opening up Snapchat faster on the Samsung, let's see Spotify, faster on the Redmi Note 11 again, let's see Subway Surfer and the Redmi Note 11 is showing its performance against the Samsung A13 and the Snapdragon 680 is a much powerful processor as compared to the Exynos 850 which is also a really odd chipset not latest from Samsung opening up the Temper N2 and Temper N2 also way faster on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 and you can see huge faster there 
and difference is about about four or five second difference there I would say Redmi is done and uh, Samsung now it is also done and you can see opening up the PUBG mobile heavy game and the PUBG is open up faster again on the Redmi Note 11 again we have Snapdragon 680 versus Exynos 850 Redmi Note 11 is way way faster and you can see Samsung is taking a lot of time I don't know why also we have smooth graphics with high frame rate on both these devices but you can see huge difference there now let's check out Twitter that is faster on the Redmi Note 11 and you can see now let's open Sedge that is faster on the Redmi Note 11 and you can see so now let's check out scrolling and you can see in the start huge lags on the Samsung Note A 60 fps even while on the redmi it is all the time 90 hertz so you can see scrolling is a bit choppy on the samsung so last time i'm launching the cameras on both phones default camera application now let's see who is going to be the fastest one and the redmi is a tiny bit more faster and you can see both phones has a quad cameras on the back and the camera performance i would say it is more better on the Redmi Note 11. So now let's look at the front camera. Here is some of the camera looks like on both phones. And the front camera I like on the Samsung A13 because it's color production while the Redmi it is also not really bad. But the Infinix Note 12 with the G88 has the best front facing camera in this price range. Okay guys, now let's check out internet browser speed. I am using to follow Samsung internet browser on the A13 versus Google Chrome on the Redmi Note 11. Opening up Wikipedia that is a tiny bit more faster on the redmi note 11 so now let's see the scrolling and you can see in the start huge lag on the samsung while the redmi it is also on 60 hertz not 90 hertz so now let's open this english again a little more faster on the redmi note 11 now let's check out scrolling scrolling is very similar on both phones next on the list is the apple.com and that is a tiny bit very similar on both phones i would say not a huge difference now let's see the scrolling and that is very similar on both phones no 90 hertz effect in the google chrome on the redmi note 11. so now let's check out ram management on both phones and both phones has a 6 gp of ram now let's see that who is performed good in the ram management phone dialer refresh on the redmi settings no refresh Amazon shopping and that card refresh on both phones let's see Candy Crush Sega refresh on both phones Instagram seems like in app refresh only let's see pin out pin out is refresh let's see snapchat a little bit refresh on the Samsung Spotify no refresh subway suffer no refresh on both phones let's see temper and two no refresh let's see pubg mobile pubg is also not refresh and you can see that's really surprising on the samsung opening up the twitter no refresh zedge let's open the browser on both phones still no refresh so guys over up to say regarding the apps opening speed as you can see that and the samsung a13 is way behind as compared to the redmi note 11 in system based application as well as in the game app loading time especially we have a four to five second difference there between these devices and the redmi note 11 is way ahead in terms of the performance wise as compared to the samsung also in terms of the ram image wise and both phones is performing really good in the ram management yes we have a similar refresh on both phones overall ram management it is really decent not really bad both phones also has a 5000 mAh battery size with a 33 watt fast charging versus a 15 watt on the samsung so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the samsung galaxy a13 versus the xiaomi redmi note 11 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video Peace out.